People's democracy was a theoretical concept within Marxism-Leninism and a form of government in communist states which developed after World War II, which allowed in theory for a multi-class, multi-party democracy on the pathway to socialism. Prior to the rise of fascism, communist parties had called for Soviet republics to be implemented throughout the world, such as the Chinese Soviet Republic or William Z. Foster's book Towards Soviet America. However, after the rise of fascism, and the creation of the Popular Front governments in France and Spain, the Comintern under Bulgarian communist leader Georgi Dimitrov began to advocate for a broad multi-class united front as opposed to the pure proletarian dictatorship of the Soviets. The possibility of a trans-class democracy was first put forward during the Popular Front period against fascism. History Georg Lukacs was one of the first to suggest the possibility of communists working for a democratic republic in his so-called Bloom thesis of 1929. Lukacs recounted in 1967, It is hard for most people to imagine how paradoxical this sounded then. Although the Sixth Congress of the Third International did mention this as a possibility, it was generally thought to be historically impossible to take such a retrograde step, as Hungary had already been a Soviet republic in 1919. Joseph Stalin, who had been in Soviet administration throughout the Russian Civil War and its aftermath, well remembered how the attempt to fight Bolshevik-style revolutions throughout Europe during and after World War I—the revolutions of 1917-23—had mostly failed. Many old Bolsheviks had thought at the time that these revolutions were the vanguard of the World Revolution, but the latter never materialized. It was this very reality that had driven the development of the idea of socialism in one country as the Soviet Union's own path. With such historical lessons in mind, at the end of World War II Stalin suggested to the leaders of Eastern European Communist parties that they should present themselves as advocates of a people's democracy. After the defeat of Nazi Germany and its allies in Eastern Europe, Marxist-Leninist theoreticians first began expanding on the idea of a possible peaceful transition to socialism, given the presence of the Soviet Red Army. In most areas of Eastern Europe, the communist parties did not immediately take power directly but instead worked in popular coalitions with progressive parties. Unlike the Soviet Union, which was officially a one-party state, a majority of people's democracies of Eastern Europe were theoretically multi-party states. Many of the ruling Leninist parties no longer called themselves communist in their official title as they had in the 1930s. The Socialist Unity Party of Germany for instance was ostensibly a union of the Social Democratic Party of Germany and the Communist Party of Germany. Many of the other European states were ruled by workers or socialist parties. In the Eastern Bloc, people's democracy was a synonym for socialist state. Mao Zedong proposed a similar idea of a cross class democracy in the 1940 essay on new democracy. In 1949, he would make a speech on the people's democratic dictatorship. The people's democratic model would later be applied to socialist states in Asia, including China, Laos, North Korea, and Vietnam. Idea While people's democracies were considered a form of the dictatorship of the proletariat, classes such as the peasantry, petite bourgeoisie and progressive bourgeoisie were allowed to participate. The difference between people's democracy and Soviet democracy allowed the USSR to maintain a position of superiority as the only pure proletarian democracy. Nikita Khrushchev explicitly stated that the possibility of peaceful transition to people's democracy was predicated in the global strength of the USSR as a superpower. The Soviet textbook A Dictionary of Scientific Communism defined people's democracy as follows People's democracy, a form of the dictatorship of the proletariat established in several European and Asian countries as a result of popular democratic revolutions in the 1940s which developed into socialist revolutions. It emerged at a new stage in the world revolutionary process and reflected the specific way in which the socialist revolution was developing at a time when imperialism was weakened and the balance of world forces had tipped in favor of socialism. The common features characteristic of people's democracy as a form of the dictatorship of the proletariat were determined by the broad social base underlying the socialist revolutions that occurred in the European and Asian countries after World War II, their relatively peaceful development and the assistance and support rendered to them by the Soviet Union. 
Yet, in each particular country, people's democracy has its own distinctive features, since the socialist changeover took place there under specific historical and national conditions. Unlike the Soviet Union, where a single-party system emerged in the course of history, in most of the countries under people's democratic rule, a multi-party system was formed. The parties united in the Popular Front to fight fascism and imperialism. Under these conditions, the multi-party system helped to expand the social base of the revolution and better fulfill the tasks facing it. Leading positions were held by communist and workers' parties. This was the case in the East Germany, Hungary, Poland, and Czechoslovakia. To strengthen cohesion within the ranks of the working class, the communist and workers' parties in several European countries of PD merged with social democratic parties on the basis of Marxism-Leninism while in Hungary and Romania the multi-party system was replaced by a single-party one. Trotskyists and other dissident anti-Stalinist communists were against the idea of people's democracy which they saw as denying the Leninist insistence on the class essence of all state power. The Marxist's Internet Archive Dictionary critiques people's democracy as follows Stalin fully intended to establish popular front-type governments, that is multi-class governments, states representing an alliance between the working class and the bourgeoisie. It was quite explicitly envisaged that capitalist property would be protected. When no bourgeois party could be found with whom to form a popular front the Communist Party created their own. Artificial parties were created to represent the various social classes who were invited to form coalition governments. The presence of deputies representing absolutely impotent parties in rubber stamp parliaments does not make a two-class or three-class state. The People's Democracy program proved unworkable however. The combination of the pressure of the working class and peasantry in favor of expropriation of the capitalists and landowners and the inability of the Soviet bureaucracy to manage a capitalist economy forced Stalin into a policy that he never anticipated. In Soviet-occupied Europe, the Red Army was the state. The social relations of production upon which the Red Army rested, i.e. the political economy of the Soviet Union, imposed themselves upon the countries it occupied. Stalin's diplomacy could not eradicate the fundamental antagonism between the workers' state and international capitalism. The same policy was carried in China under the banner of Bloc of Four Classes. Topic. See also New Democracy People's Democratic Dictatorship Social Democracy Topic. References Topic. Further reading General Theory of People's Democracy. Revolutionary Democracy. Retrieved of August 2014.